G'day guys, Steve with Broken Sprocket. In this video, I'm going to be fixing the damage that I caused the last time I went out four wheel driving. Unfortunately, I got stuck in a large wombat hole type situation and the side of the vehicle impacted on the embankment and caused all this damage. So what I'm planning to do is just pull the panels back out into place. I don't really want to do a, a really good job or anything like that and repaint anything to make it look good because I like the patina look that this vehicle has. I like it looking old and used. I just don't want this large caved in section on the vehicle. So that's what I'm aiming to fix. I've also purchased one of these DIY rock slider kits that I will be assembling and putting onto the vehicle to try and avoid this kind of thing happening again. So I'm not looking for a perfect repair at all. In fact, a little bit of patina, more patina doesn't bother me. I just don't want it caved in. And I'm gonna make that rock slider section because I've also damaged the other side when I tried to do monkey gum. This side happened with mint bush. So I definitely need some kind of protection to prevent this from happening again. So I just wanna rough it out and get it so it's straight looking and then that's it. Okay, first things first. I think I'll just put some good pit of gloves on and try and pull it out by hand and then I may have to hammer along the inside edge here with this hammer and a block of wood and just slowly bring that out and lastly I'll just fix this edge of the step where it's impacted here so the step sort of pushed this panel in so from the inside with the block of wood I should be able to pull that back out but first I'll just try and get this piece out by hand Luckily it's, oh, look at that. That came out so easy. And that split's not too bad. It's, it's quite good actually. Now this section here, it might come by hand. Oh, look at that, I don't have to hammer anything. <laughs> How easy was that? I'm just gonna use the dolly here. Put pressure on the outside with the dolly on this section because it's got a bit of a a divot here and a raised section here so I'll just put some pressure here and just tap lightly on this raised section where this split is I'm not even going to bother to weld that it looks pretty good I'm just going to place the dolly on the edge here and hammer this piece flat. This back, back section looks a bit untidy so I'll give it a bit of a, a hit with the dolly. There isn't even a lip there, it's all just crushed up. bit of weight on here and there's a it sort of raises up and dips back down so I'm just going to put a bit of weight on it and tap this edge in a little that piece there is along the box section that's on the inside so I'm not going to worry about this dent I like that one I'll just give it a bit of a dolly along the edge. You can see the box and on the inside, I'll just give it a hit with the dolly and just tap that back out a little. Now I'll just give this a little a bit of a tap out. Okay, I've got the paint here, a little touch-up brush, and all I want to do is just go over the sections here so that they don't rust out really badly. 
you might have to go over it a couple of times but this is good enough for the type of look I'm going for I don't want it to look like a brand new section and then keep the rest old looking I need it to sort of stay old and have that patina style look I just don't want that panel caved in the way it was then I'll make those rock sliders and happy days have you ever heard people say it'll buff out well I'll tell you a little secret if you put a little bit of spit on your finger and put it over the section if it disappears with the spit that means it will buff out if it doesn't disappear it won't buff out so that's just a little little tip there to see if something will buff out or not well that's it for the repair on this vehicle it came out very easily now I can hear you all saying why would you do it like that why wouldn't you fix it properly and get it all nice well the simple reason is I like the way it looks as a patina style vehicle I like the rough edges I like the scratches in it I like the story that a patina a real patina body tells you it's lived a life and besides from that I could do this properly after all I was a panel beater for 16 years and I can restore vehicles up to very high quality but I don't want to spend my weekends polishing my vehicle afraid to scratch it and driving it to the local coffee shop for my light milk latte or whatever it is that you like to to do with those sorts of things I've seen those types of vehicles I respect them because I know what it takes to get those vehicles to that quality but I actually like to go four-wheel driving I want to use it as a four-wheel drive I find that my buzz I get a real kick out of it I enjoy testing the vehicle to its limits my next thing is to get some rock sliders which I have over there which I need to build and try and protect it from this kind of damage happening again and that's that's all that I want to do I want to enjoy the vehicle as it is I love the patina look I love the rough edges so that was a pretty quick video appreciate you watching you can also follow Broken Sprocket on Instagram give it a thumbs up a subscribe whatever it is you like to do leave a leave a message if you like thanks for watching